This is Aviv and Jared from West Coast Shaving, and today we're going to talk to you about Euphros. <laughs> Cut! Oh. Um, we'll tell you a little bit about the brand, about the products, about what to expect, and show you a little lather demo. Lather demo for sure. Uh, and what to expect is some soap that few have had the privilege of trying. Uh, we're really excited to bring you this soap and we are bringing it back. I know it's currently sold out of our first run of it. Um, this is produced by one individual and uh, that individual operates out of Spain and um, there's no storefront, there's no easy way to get it. It's all been by word of mouth until now and we are really just super uh, honored, excited to be able to share this with you folks. Great. And so, the scents that we have here are Zanzibar, Kronos, Tobacco, and, and Gia. Gia. Now, Gia happens to be, you can notice the, the black label here. Uh, this is a vegan base. The other three are his tallow base. And they all come in these tins. Uh, they're, they're fairly robust canisters, screw top. Um, and then uh, inside, they are mostly white. I think uh, one or two are a, a little more of a tan uh, color, but they all lather white. And yeah, we'll speak to the different scents. Um, and we should also point out that the next round that we're expecting should have additional scents as well. Um, I won't spoil a surprise and say what they are, but uh, I'm certainly excited. And uh, there's a lot of them that I haven't even gotten to check out yet, so I, I can't wait. Do you know the person's actual name, the artisan, or is it Habon Man? He goes by Habon Man. I don't know if he wants me giving out... I mean, I don't mind giving out his pager number. Mm. That's that's okay, as long as he gets his anonymity. <laughs> um, uh, he uh, is... Manuel is his first name. Um, and, yeah, you know, he's... He, again, has, has <laughs> just this amazing, loyal fan base only because uh, those who have tried it have raved about it. Uh, and it's really incredible. Super. So let's get to it, I think. I want to use Zanzibar. Okay. I really like the scent. Yeah. Okay, so I I'll confess. Um, I have used tobacco, uh, and I liked it. I love Zanzibar. Um, that's definitely firmly in my collection. Um, I've not used Gia, but uh, I, I feel like I have a good feel for the cologne scent profile there. Um, I have not used Kronos, and Kronos is his newest scent. Hmm. It is, to me, his most complex scent. And uh, I expect, we'll see, but I expect when you lather it, it's going to change quite a bit. Oh, great. So you're going to do Kronos? I'm going to do it. Go for it. Um, we've established this on previous videos. I'm not a scent expert, but... Oh, really? I I took away the opposite message of it. Mm. Okay. Noted. So one thing that I thought was interesting when you look at the soaps, it looks like it's almost pushed in with fingers, like <laughs> hand, hand kneaded Sorry. into Sorry. it. I did that with all of them. Uh, yes, it does look like, and I, you know, I don't think it was it was uh, fingers probably, but but yeah, I mean, there's uh, you could definitely see how uh, there was some kind of of uh, implement that they used to to pound it in there. Um, and so there's just kind of this little widow's peak of, of soap sticking up. Yeah, because I think most soaps, when they're poured, they're poured hot. Right. So it looks it looks uniform on the top, you know, because it's just cooling. Although, this one, no, I, I, I you know, uh, I thought so. But one of the other artisans we spoke with said that he actually, uh, like him and his associates, they really smooth it. Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay. So maybe I'm wrong. Uh, so you've got a brush. I have a brush. I've got a brush. Before we do that, I want you to smell this. Hmm. What do you make of that? Do you like that or not? Um, mm, no, <laughs> not so much. I struggle with this one too. Um, I, I get like a, like a chamomile on steroids almost. I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, but again, Whatever the scent is, it's strong. It's very strong. Only this one. The others, well, they, actually, I shouldn't say that. They're all pretty strong, but this one is a next level strong. This Zanzibar is just like great, I think. I, that's why I'm doing it again, but it's, I don't know how to describe it. How would you describe it? 
love that. Um, so I, I feel like uh, he's got two cents, Brisa de Orient and Zanzibar that are, that are on a spectrum um, for me, uh, with Zanzibar being um, mostly sweet with a little spiciness to it, and Brisa being more spicy with uh, some underlying sweetness to it. And uh, I mean, it just, Zanzibar is nice. So today I'm going to, I got a mirror this time, so I can <laughs> lather on my face and actually see what I'm doing. And Jared, are you going to go on your hand again? Uh, sure. I mean, I don't, I'm happy to go on my face too, whatever. Maybe, maybe we'll alternate. Maybe next time you'll do it. What are we going to do with all those extras who are, who are out there? Weren't they here to lather us? Yeah. Okay. Well, we can send them in after, I guess. Yeah, just, guys, one yeah, minute. Just, hang on. I'm going to go for it. Okay. Man, this has a strong odor. Yeah, so when this was in my bathroom the other day, my wife was like, she's like, oh, what's that? It's yeah, nice, because I left yeah, it open. Nice. We'll see how bad I destroy my shirt over the course of the day today. <laughs> I don't have a mirror, but... Mmm. I should have gotten another mirror. <laughs> One step at a time with West Coast Asian videos. <laughs> Anything you can tell us about the soap, just like as you lather? How it feels on the face? Uh, it's hard for me to, to feel much right now because I have I have a little facial hair that isn't, mm. isn't I'm not clean shaven this morning. But um in general, uh, I I know this soap to um, be able to stand a good amount of water, so I'll keep adding some water. Uh, and you know, I spent a lot of time. For those of you who have seen uh, previous videos we've posted, spent a lot of time when I'm hand lathering, uh, and try. That's exactly what I do on my face too. Try to work it under the hairs and go like this, and I feel like it really builds easily and. Uh, Happy to have more water. Keep it slicker and slicker. How am I doing? There you go. Oh yeah. So they we also carry the aftershave bombs. Aftershave bombs. Um, the ingredients I think are in Spanish, which <laughs> helps a lot. Yeah, go and sniff that one. Hmm. What, um, no, I, I meant like last time. Didn't you actually just mm, like sniff it? Right. <laughs> I try to, I keep shaking it every yeah, time. Yeah. I shake it a lot. And then, uh, I feel like the scent a little bit on the aftershave bomb, maybe a little bit different. Probably it's the scent, the, the, uh, look at the difference. I mean, you can tell the difference between the, <laughs> the two lathers. <laughs> Well, this is this is uh, overloading the brush. This is what happens when, you know, which I, I do on purpose because I like that kind of, uh, you know, giant lather beard. Mm -hmm. um, also, I like to I like to shave a little bit faster. Yeah. Uh, than you do. Yeah, you shave for for function. I shave for a little bit of relaxation. I think. Mm hmm. It's probably true. Yeah. So. Let's try to describe the sense. I mean, tobacco yeah. should be pretty simple to understand. But yeah, it's a it's a light tobacco. Um, by that I mean it's not a not a heavy tobacco scent. Um, it's like uh, it's like wafting through the air. Oh, you're gonna yeah. have trouble with uh, the other end of tobacco. It, yeah, it's a chamomile. Uh, no, it's it's like a, a sweeter uh, tobacco, lighter style tobacco, um, and. Uh, you know, nothing like, uh, nothing like smoked about it. Uh, it's not a smoky scent. Mm -hmm. Um, very nice. It's similar to, to Gia and Zanzibar and that it's just, it's easy, easy going. You know, there's not, there's nothing, um, that is, uh, you have to like worry if you're going to offend someone when you're wearing it. It's just smooth, easy, um, year round in my opinion. Mm -hmm. This, I will say this does change. Uh, and, and so I can talk about that, but this is not something I would describe as like easy going. 
uh, in terms of like, will you stand out in a in a possibly uh, <laughs> notorious way? Uh, for me, it smells yeah. very spicy. If that makes sense, like it's there's yeah. something like. When you lather it, um, it comes out a bit differently. I don't know if you could smell. Mm. Um, the the chamomile, what, what I describe as like chamomile on steroids recedes a little bit. There are other notes that come out um, to mellow it. I don't know what they are offhand. Um, there are a lot of notes in this soap. I, I do recall that uh, in the, in the uh, official scent profile. Um, what's interesting to me I don't, I don't have to, this doesn't rank for me as a top scent, but um, I do like it a lot better now that I've lathered it than just sniffing it out of the jar. Um, what's interesting to me though is that the soap maker actually really loves this scent. He, like, he's really proud of this scent. And it's just cool to, you know, this is someone who knows scents in a very uh, different, more sophisticated way. And uh, I'm, I'm certainly uh, an admirer of scents that can evolve with different layers as the lather, as the heat builds. Um, and I think sometimes that's when you when you notice that the bomb smells different than the soap, for example. I, my uh, uh, rule generally, or my assumption generally, is that that has to do with what it will become, the soap will become when lathered. Mm. That that scent is the final scent as opposed to the off the puck and evolving version of the scent. I thought maybe it had to do with how the fragrance like combines with the medium, you know, like respawnification versus just, I it, it's, it's certainly possible. Um, but I feel like that would just be, I don't know, I hope that's not it. Cause that seems like that just like you should be able to control right, for that you should if control you're for that. designing it. You're right. Um, but yeah. Uh, what do you think of this lather? You've used this, you, you've shaved with this. Yeah. It's good for me. It was, uh, It was good for me. How about you? I I have used uh, you gross probably a dozen times. Uh, the more I use it, the more I love it. Mm. Uh, I absolutely love it. Uh, I would say that uh, the standout characteristic for me is its slickness. Um, you know, in general, I I you know flood my soaps a bit more um, with water, and you do. I find that uh, this just. Uh, it takes a lot of water, um, and it doesn't require it, but it tolerates it well, and you get something just absolutely super slick. Hmm. That's Euphros from Spain to West Coast Shaving. Very excited to carry this scent. Like Jared said, we sold out of the first batch pretty quickly. We're, we have another batch with more scents on the way, mm -hmm. and we are excited to bring this artisan to market and we hope you try it we hope you like it and please let us know what you think till next time